Hello, folks. Uh, the, this time the problem is from 2004, May, June, paper 1, and the question number is 14. It's concerned with, uh, we can say, forces, or we can say equilibrium, or we can even say that it is concerned with vectors. It says that uh, the diagram shows a sign of weight, a sign, sign of weight, uh, 20 newton suspended from a pole attached to a wall. So this is pole, and this is a wall here. The pole is kept in equilibrium by a wire attached at point X of the pole. So we have a wire, wire here, uh, point X here, and the wire comes from, uh, and from X also, from X, this uh, sign is being suspended. The force exerted by the pole at uh, point X, pole by point X, uh, and X is F, and the tension in the wire is uh, 40 newtons. So which diagram represents the three forces acting at point X? So we have to find which diagram represents the forces at point X. So uh, the first thing is, let us go for this tension thing here. The tension in the wire is 40 newtons. So tension is over here. The tension applies along the string and is in this, this, this direction. So this is T. This is T and it's equal to 40 newton. It's equal to 40 newton. So if you look at uh, the answer choices, so choices, uh, this force is 40 newton uh, parallel to this thing. So it, it qualifies. This also 40 newton uh, parallel to this thing qualifies. This also, this also. All the 40 newton uh, forces have been represented correctly. So all of them uh, fall to the choices. Let's go through the weight. So the weight of this thing is equal to, this thing is equal to uh, something given as a 20 newton, 20 newton. And it's a vertically downward, vertically downward. So this is the weight here. So if you go through uh, all the diagrams, so all these 20 newtons have been shown vertically downward, and so they, they qualify, they still qualify. So uh, with the view of two forces, uh, all these diagrams qualify for the answer. Now the main factor is the force at point X due to the pole. The force by the pole on X, so pole on X should be in this direction. This force should be in this direction, it, because it is said that it is the force by the pole on X by the pole on X, so it should be like this. So let's search for that thing. The force F exerted by the pole on the X, so F in this direction, so F in this, this disqualifies. And here F somewhere here, disqualifies. F somewhere here, disqualifies. The only thing here is F here, F here, F here, so this thing qualifies. So see, if you know the direction of all the forces, uh, we can uh, we can uh, go for the answer uh, very fast. So here what uh, what it disqualifies is F is shown to be in some uh, different direction which is not correct. Here different direction not correct. And here it is uh, opposite because we have been told that F is the force by the pole. Uh, by the pole on the on point X. So it can be this thing because this is a solid thing. It has got high, it has got high rigidity and uh, uh, it will definitely exerting this type of force on this thing. So that's why it should be here. This is the correct choice.